Good morning guys. Wow, what a fantastic day it is today. So I'm saying goodbye to a couple of very special souls this morning. Stuart, Sean, hey, amazing pictures climbing. Wow, frightening height on the tree, fantastic. Well, you bought another beautiful saw. You've got the 266, uh, Stuart, hope you love the saw. Let's give it one more run. Um, it's gonna be a lovely addition to your collection. Just unused. So she's only obviously run I'm not sure if that was yesterday or the day before. Just sublime, aren't they? Just fantastic fantastic engine and another girl leaving today is the oh this is a bit of a pull this one for me steve stephen you've got the john sids 80 well hope you love the saw let me show this girl running one last time before it box her up as well put that throttle lock on don't know if she'll need it <laughs> get on but you love the saw so I was asked several questions about one of my other early American saws and as some of you will know half a dozen of these arrived in in a batch recently and so it's a great time to show it particularly with the two saws that are leaving today so that is the C51 so which in its earlier guys was the C5, later designation, only a couple of years later, went to what they call the C51, a few tiny changes, but it's really interesting, particularly with the saws that are leaving today. So the, the 266 runs a 50 mil piston, 34 mil stroke. This girl runs a two inch piston, so same as well, many, many saws running two inch, so 50.8 mil. 38.1 mil stroke, and then the John Seards is a 52 mil piston, 38 mil stroke. So you have a you have a, a balance between the pistons for these saws, which is 50, just under 51, and 52 mil. And it's a really interesting age spread. So the development for this girl started in in 1962. Well, it started before that, but they launched this saw in 62, and power head only comes in at just over eight kilos and then some 10 years later the same displacement engine from John Sids comes in at just over seven kilos and then a further approximate 10 years later you have this footprint which shaves another kilo off of it so each decade or so off of some of these designs they were shaving two pounds in weight and but okay so I wanted to show the C51 only briefly as well because these saws get a a, a I think they have a, a harsh reputation in terms of being unreliable and not being very powerful and I thought oh, okay I've got to I'll show some people just what a fresh saw is actually like so you know the reason the majority of people over here have, have only seen worn out saws is because um, good compression, this one, a <laughs> fantastic compression engine, twin piston rings, small, um, or the narrow format piston rings on this engine, and the reason that you tend to see them not starting and then completely worn out and no compression is because they've been serving their owners for decades, but there's a reason why these were professional forestry stalls in the States taking down giant redwoods, is because they're fantastic. So, 
all you just need to do is find a fresh engine. And so like the Johnsons, this girl can run up to a 31 inch bar. So nominal displacement then, this one is 77 cc. And very, very loud. <sighs> very. Your thumb oiler just they have this tiny stubby exhaust if you can call it an exhaust it's just literally an airflow straight out the side and um, all mag alloy construction imposing felling spike top fill for both the fuel and the oil just a thing of absolute beauty so This girl originally came in, so these run a 404 format chain. I think um, just like the, her slightly bigger brother and sister, the C71 and C91, um, they're only in 404 format. So the chain that was with this girl was um, one of the period Oregon chipper chains from the 1960s. And this girl still has the genuine original, as we believe, with the, from the owner. 25 inch solid nose bar with fabulous tip symmetry picked up on the saw and so yesterday i went out and i bought a an 82 drive link period oregon full chisel chain 404. um i was a bit shocked actually yesterday how much the links are now for some of the for some of the nice 404 chains so that's just under 40 pounds but so i thought okay i'll take a couple of discs hopefully that answers the question so, um, and genuinely, she, she's not cut with. She came from an amazing collection, but it's a gorgeous running engine with fabulous compression. So, let's make sure we put that safe. Okay. Yeah, yeah so if you ever see the C5s, the C51s, ah, hot today, guys. Pulling with clean compression. Um, they're just amazing, amazing forestry source for their day. And they would have taken down some big trees. Right, let's put these on because she's a loud girl. So I said, I don't really have anything big here. Just some 12 inch, some ash. And I'm excited just to put it on the wood, just to see how she feels, whether or not she box down and needs adjusting, but she sounds absolutely perfect. You know, in the cut, these other saws behind me would be eight, eight and a half K under load, full throttle cutting wood. This girl will be around five and a half K, something like that. So, but just do not underestimate these engines. <laughs> sensational so obviously not the head speed giving away wow, thousands of rpm on the head speed but just no pressure on the bar not even putting the dogs into the wood just the weight of the blade just effortless so for any of you after 
something special for the workshop. There's this beautiful C51 then. Um, so fitted with a 25 inch bar. Now brand new chain. So it should come now with a brand new Oregon full chisel period chain and the semi chisel chain as well. And um, 25 inch bar. Hopefully a thing of beauty for the workshop, but amazing as well. Amazing tool to pick up and run. Um, so the C5 started in 62 to 64, had about a three year production spread. The C51 followed on, overlapped with the C5. And again, I think that ran for four years, if you count its launch year, four, five, six, seven, I think about four years, three to four years. And the primarily difference between the C5 and C51, they went through a couple of tiny little design changes, but Primarily, the design change was on the crank and on the pull start housing. So the original version in 62 was using the uh, Fairbanks Morse friction cup assembly. Thaddeus Fairbanks, Charles Osmer Morse, amazing history. Um, and then the later version, they went to this one-way needle bearing arrangement where thereby the end of the crank is supported in a freewheeling needle bearing which free wheels one way but engages when you pull with the starter it's a fabulous design um, absolutely beautiful design um, just feels unlike most other pull starts as you pull it it just feels rigid and that's because of course it's supported with a ball bearing on the outside as well as the inside okay guys hope that's interesting that's the gorgeous 1960s c51 oh let's run her again fresh engine amazing compression Oh. back then run a 31 inch bar fantastic ah. clean stay safe guys have a great day bye for now